more than a million dollars, you. Well, 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 good morning. Uh, I am super excited for this trip. I've been looking forward to it, forward to it for two weeks. Uh, I got Mikkel with me. Uh, my good friend Christian, who uh, was out with me on the last trip, he's over there. And we're here in the Hiawinas for two nights, three days at one of my favorite, favorite off-trail lakes. Anyway, we're gonna get camp set up, have coffee, and uh, I'm gonna be doing a lot of fishing. What do you got going on down there? We're gonna do some raspberry strawberry lemonade. Some juice water? Yeah. Good. <laughs> Just <Yeah>. juice water. <laughs> <laughs> I'll drink coffee black though. I've done it before. It's, I forgot cream and sugar on one trip and both mornings I did it black and I was just fine with it, so. I'm gonna try it with the Muddy Buddies but I'm not gonna eat the Muddy Buddies. I think it's a bad idea. <laughs> Oh yeah, I love that smell. That first, when it yep. first hits the, the micro grind, yeah. I'm trying to mm. think, I want to hang my food for the Good. squirrels. Yeah, I'm not necessarily you. worried about the bears. Yeah, I we got line too to hang our I food tonight. I think I'm tonight. just gonna throw it up over this tree right here, this branch. All right, we are uh, we are down here on the water. Coffee was good, had some snacks, and uh, we're gonna get the first uh, fishing session out of the way. Um, I did bring a couple fly rods, and I also brought one of my old spin reels for Mikkel. Um, so we're going to get her started with the spin reel. And um, as soon as she's kind of got the hang of that, I'm going to go uh, down here a little ways and get started. And I'm sure we'll all three be down on the water uh, together shortly. So, uh... work all right so i'm on my gopro now uh but mikhail just caught the first fish of the trip and it's uh it's a beauty oh my gosh hi guys and we're the fish uh that's why we come to this lake beautiful very healthy trout so gosh. we're gonna go ahead and get it released well, what do you think <laughs> happy now yeah that was fun <laughs> that was awesome beautiful fish mikhail is on the fish again so uh i watched that hook up but didn't get it on the camera Nice and slow. Don't be too fast or you'll break. 
Oh, he hopped off. No way! Ah, oh, that was a monster. It was so big. Look at what he did to hopped it. Hopped off. He tangled up my stuff. All right, so there's my first uh, fishing session of the day. I haven't got anything yet. I haven't even got a strike. Uh, Mikel's caught two fish to the net and had uh, a few strikes, but you know, I don't know, but uh, I'm a little tired, so I'm gonna head back to camp, uh, drink some water, eat some food, and probably come back and uh, fish some more. <laughs> really beautiful up here though. This is what I've been super excited about for this trip. This is the uh, Wilderness Light Backpacker Pro float tube. 3.7 pounds, fit perfectly in my backpack. Takes up a little bit of room, but it's really light and it's gonna open up a lot of water that I don't normally fish otherwise. So I'm gonna get this blown up and I'm hoping that water's not too cold. Um, I did bring neoprene socks, but uh, really excited to have this. This is gonna be a lot of fun. There it is. 3.7 pound Backpacker Pro. Is your butt just completely soaked? Huh? Is your butt completely soaked? Oh yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> All right, so this float tube is pretty awesome. Uh, I definitely need the fins. They didn't come in yet, but this works. As long as I can catch a fish. We are struggling up here today. Mikkel's the only one catching fish. Uh, Christian and I are just, uh, we're having another rough go, but hopefully it picks back up, uh, you know, here in a couple hours as it gets a little later, but the float tube's fun. Uh, it's definitely gonna be a great, uh, great thing to bring along. I just really need the fins. It's really hard to propel myself with just my bare feet. Um, that was pretty hard. So as soon as I get those fins, which should be in my house when I get back, I'll really be able to propel uh, you know through the lake a lot better but i'm probably done on that for the day um and we'll give it another run tomorrow afternoon but i'm gonna go uh i'm gonna go put some dry clothes on and probably take a little walk and we'll get after these fish at least one more time tonight but man struggling Ooh, we all right it is that time again and uh i'm gonna go try and catch another fish mikhail's already down in the water uh, over there somewhere and i've been hanging around camp i took a little nap like 10 minutes there on my chair but the float tube works really good um uh, a lot better than i thought it was going to so i'm pretty happy with that i just need to get the uh little uh attachments for my feet the little flippers so i can uh get through the water better it was a little hard with my feet, but uh, you know that's uh, that's something that's going to be coming with me on quite a few trips, and uh, I'll get the hang of it, and you know get out and fish some water that I don't normally fish. So it's about 5:30, and here we go. <laughs> all right we are all back at camp uh we have all spent a whole bunch of time fishing today and the only person that's been catching is mikel uh, she caught a couple of the really big fish in here and i'm struggling but i'm not done uh, i'm gonna go back down in probably 30 minutes and uh, toss a, uh, a line a few more times anyways but we still have a full day tomorrow um you know i did freeze last night so i don't know maybe that has something to do with it but uh yeah so uh i'm gonna relax have a drink and uh maybe we'll take the camera back down if i go to the water again but it's almost time to start relaxing uh, i'm getting hungry are you hungry I'm starving. i think we're all probably pretty hungry so yeah great time out here 
You having a good time? Yes. We're having a good time. <laughs> I've had a really good time. <laughs> so. Well, speak for yourself over there. <laughs> I'm telling you what, man. I, I, dude, I know you, and I know how you fish. And I, I've had friends like that too. That they're just like, it's not over till it's over. <laughs> like they come back and try to hit this in the evening for a redemption after a morning session or something. Or we can move like you wanted to do too. Either way. <laughs> All right, it's been a it's been a good day. Uh, it's it's pretty early. It's 9:45 or so. Mikel and I are just in the tent. Uh, Christian says he's going to be up for a while shooting his uh, photography, but I'm tired. Been a really good day. Fishing could have been better, but uh, it's been relaxing. Haven't filmed a whole lot, but tomorrow we've got a big full day out here, so I'll uh, yeah we'll try and do a little more filming and uh, hopefully find a fish or two. But we're having a good time, and we'll see you all in the morning. Good night. Well, good morning. It has been a super long week for me. I've been so busy, and uh, I was really tired last night, and uh, I've slept till nine o'clock this morning. Uh, well, a little, a little. I woke up at about 8:45. I slept great last night, so I feel pretty good. But I'm up. Mikel's up. Christian's down there fishing. Um, I'm gonna have coffee. Then I'm gonna have some oatmeal, and then I'm gonna go do some fishing. If uh, we can't pull anything out of this uh, lake here this morning, we might do a little day hike to some other lakes. But uh, we'll we'll just see. It's still really peaceful up here. We talked about maybe packing up and going somewhere else for tonight, but there's nobody down here. You know, nobody comes down here. We have this entire area, this entire basin to ourselves. So that's pretty neat. So we'll probably stay here and maybe do a day hike. Um, but, you know, whatever. We'll, we'll have fun. And uh, we're going to do the breakfast thing. So uh, we'll catch up with you here in a bit on the water and you're gonna have a good day. Alright guys, it's uh, it's still pretty early. I think it's only 10.30 or so, but um, we have made the decision to pack up camp and we're going to hike to a new lake or a few lakes, um, not too far away, about a mile, but uh, I think we got one lake that uh, shouldn't have anybody, but it's okay if we have some neighbors, so I'm going to go grab Mikel down here and I think we're going to get packed up and uh, move on to a new place for the night, so it should be a pretty peaceful walk out of here. All right, we are uh, all packed up. Mikel and I just got our packs on. Uh, Christian's almost ready to go, and we got about a mile hike or so. Uh, we're gonna go find a new place to spend the night. Hopefully, fishing is better where we're going, but we'll see when we get there. We probably won't do a whole lot of filming uh, on the way up to where we're going, but you know, we'll get the camera box back out when we get there. We're having a pretty fun little scramble, but boy, it is hot. It is hot. It feels like the middle of summer, and it's still spring, so we're uh, one foot in front of the other, almost there. Well, we have made it. I don't know, we probably hiked for about an hour, but really pretty. Uh, it doesn't appear there's anybody up here. Looks like we have this place to ourselves also. Fish are rising. We'll show you camp when we got it set up, though. We are uh, mostly set up, really, uh, really great camp, beautiful area. We both got really nice spots to put our tent and uh, a really, uh, really cool firing here in the trees. You know, really protected from all the elements like wind and things like that. So, uh, so I'll show you the little hangout area uh, right in the trees there behind me. That's where we will spend some time at later. But, um, I'm about ready to rig up a fishing kit. Um, I'm going to get a rig put together and go right down on the water. And uh, I just really want to catch a fish. Uh, 
as you uh, remember from yesterday, I struggled. This morning I struggled, and uh, you know, we're gonna go get after it and uh, probably spend quite a bit of time fishing again today. Yeah, really cool. Uh, really happy Christian shared this spot with me. I've never been here, so a uh, new area for me, but gonna be a great time. All right, I got a nice little piece of shore. Uh, what I really like about this lake, and I've never fished here, is that uh, you can get a really good back cast uh, almost around the entire lake. So, uh, you know, I won't be getting my float tube out. Um, I definitely need to wait till I get my little, my little paddles to, to get through the water better. But I'm gonna start with a, I think it's a size 10, little brown uh, leech. Never fished here before, so we're gonna get started. And I'm sure the other two will be down on the water shortly. There we go. Beautiful. Ah. About a ten inch. Little 10 inch brook trout. Really pretty. Get that right back in the water. Yeah. I'm so happy about that. Yep. Dude, these are healthy, buddy. Come on. There we go. There's my second fish, and I've missed two or three strikes. Having a great time. Get it released right from the net. All right, so my first fishing session of the day is over. Uh, caught a handful of uh, uh, pan-sized brook trout. Uh, been a pretty good. It's been a pretty good afternoon on the water, uh, especially compared to yesterday. Had a lot of fun. Completely out of water, so I'm going to filter some uh, or collect some water to take back to camp and uh, hang out for a bit. There's a really pretty overlook behind camp uh, that I'm going to go take a look at, and uh, yeah, we're going to hang out for a bit before coming back out on the water probably for a few hours later, so having a good time. Alright, we're calling it an early dinner night. We're doing peak refuels again, just quick and easy really. Uh, so we're going to have uh, dinner. going to relax for a bit and I'm going to go down and fish again. Probably in about 30 or 45 minutes. So. Well, I'm going to fish too. Mikkel's going to fish. We're going to give it one, one more rally before, before uh, calling it a trip, but I'm hungry. Me too. Good fish. Oh. Did that come off? Yeah. I had it set too. We know they want it. 
Got it. Oh, nice. Well, what would you put on? A uh, little Griffith's net. Oh, there you go. That hit it hard. So it might be gnats that are hatching out here. Yep, it's my last Griffith's net, size 18. All right. Here we go. I told you this corner, man. <laughs> I don't know what's going on over here, but. All right, just put them to another one. Get the hook out of this mouth. This one's a good one. <laughs> there we go. Uh, Another one of these fun little brook trout we've been pulling out of here. So we'll get it released probably right here from the net. That was cool. All right, it has been a, it turned into a pretty good evening on the water. I think we all caught a handful of fish and I, uh, I believe I caught a few of them on camera, so that's cool. I think I said this earlier, but it is, it is so warm. It feels like midsummer. Um, really warm today, really pretty out. Sun's just going down. So uh, we've already had dinner, so we're just gonna relax for a bit. And uh, I'll probably be in bed pretty early. Uh, Mikel and I have some movies downloaded. So we'll hang out, warm up and uh, check in from the tent. So we'll see you soon. Look at this incredible view. Uh, this is three minutes from camp. On uh, the upper twin, uh, right over here in those two. Nobody ever goes back there. You didn't even know it was. Know Dustin, it was. we could climb down the down, the dry fall tomorrow. Yeah. To get out, like right off the pond here. Uh huh. Ooh-wee, good morning. It is uh, 7.30. Uh, we woke up around 7. Uh, slept really good again. Uh, we were in the tent pretty early, and uh, I slept really well. I think Mikel slept really well. I did get out of the tent last night, I think around, I don't even know, 1, 12.31. Um, and the stars were just incredible. So, anyway, we are up. We're going to do the coffee thing. I got a couple complete cookies for breakfast, and then we're going to probably start getting packed up and be on the trail. Uh, relatively soon and we may make a, a stop on the way out to do some fishing may not we'll just see when we get there but it'll be a really pretty hike out and uh we'll see you on the trail i'm breathing a little heavy this morning <laughs> uh, we are packed up and uh, on our way out of this beautiful place we're only about two and a half uh, miles roughly to the truck so uh gonna be a pretty short walk really pretty walk and uh yeah we're gonna get to it christian's uh working his way down there's no trail down there He's picking his way through it before us, so we're going to get caught up to him and enjoy the hike out of here. Okay, this is probably the last stop we're gonna make. Uh, we're only about five minutes from the parking lot where my truck is. We were gonna stop and fish this little pond. It's uh, pretty good for fast action little brook trout, but um, we're gonna we're gonna not do that and uh, just kind of call it a trip. So it's been a really good time. Thanks y'all for watching. You know, we'll see you on the trail soon.